What's up? Top of the stairs. Good to be back in Blacksburg. All right, let's get this started. Um, I was watching TV the other day, uh, TLC to be specific, and there was this show on called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. Maybe you guys are familiar with it. For you guys who aren't familiar with it at all, it's a show about women who find out they're pregnant when they go to take a shit and a baby comes out. <laughs> I think it would be better if there was a show called I Thought I Was Pregnant. <laughs> like they go to the doctor to get an ultrasound and they're just like, what is it, doc? Uh, uh, diabetes. <laughs> See that right there? That's a Snickers bar. Uh, because they're fat. <laughs> um, I'm not fat. Uh, I'm not uh, not a fat person. I should be fat. I eat a lot, but because I ran a lot in high school and actually in college, I ran here for a little while at Tech. And um, so you know, I, I've stayed skinny throughout the years. And the thing about running, like running distance, which is what I did, um, I, I I really had a tough time running distance in high school, like because I was good at it. But the thing about running distance in track and field and cross country is, unlike other sports, it seems that the better you get at it, the less impressed people are. Like when my friends, like they played basketball and they could dunk and everyone's like, wow, man, that's so cool. And like my other friends he played football and he could bench press 300 pounds. And like me, I'd be like, hey guys, I ran 13 miles today. And they'd be like, what? <laughs> what was it for charity? <laughs> no, that's what I do for fun. Run, it's a lot of fun. All right, Peter, well, um, we're going to go get laid. Uh, have fun running in circles with uh, your short shorts on. <laughs> that was my life in high school. Um, but I get, I, because I ran for so long, you know, I, know a lot, I know a lot about running, and I, I see things, I see people making mistakes when they go for runs. As, and more recently, have you heard of these shoes, Vibrams? Does anyone know what they're, the Vibrams are the toe shoes. The shoes you see where you could, uh, when people wear them, you can see their toes. They're called toe shoes. Some people call them toe shoes. Does anyone know what I'm talking about here? Yeah. All right, good. I wanted to make sure because, all right, all right, you guys know. All right, anyways, it's been a while since I've been on stage, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> so, I hate Vibrams. And the thing I hate the most about Vibrams is the people who wear them. Because the people who wear them are, will look at you and they'll be like, hey, man. People in Kenya, they run without shoes all the time. Okay, bro. First off, they're running without shoes because they weigh like 100 pounds and you don't. Second, actually, they're wear running without shoes because they can't afford them. And three, they're running all the time because there are fucking lions in Kenya. <laughs> Okay? Running in Vibrams and in a 5K doesn't turn you into a Kenyan. It turns you into an asshole. <laughs> All right? But, uh, you know, I, I ran a lot. I, I, going back to the whole people not being impressed with things, that was tough for me. I remember one specific story. Uh, I went running with one of my friends. He wasn't a runner at all. And uh, we ran, th I, I ran three miles with him. And then after we were done running, I went on and I continued running for seven more miles. And then afterwards, we went out to the movies with some girls. And my friend said to one of these girls, like, hey, today I ran three whole miles. And the girl's like, oh my god, that's so hot. I love a guy who's like in shape. And I was like, wait a minute. If you think that's impressive, guess who ran ten miles today? This guy. She just kind of looked at me like this. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Why would you do that? I like tried to recover. I was like, oh, it was for charity. Like, <laughs> I did it. I did it for babies with cancer. It was no big deal. And then my friend went and had sex with her while I played video games in the next room. <laughs> Aww. What game did you play? I don't remember. <laughs> Mario Kart. Thanks. I'm glad I have your seal of approval. <laughs> um, 
let's talk about something else. Uh, another thing I, uh, something I saw recently is a movie. Has anyone here seen the movie Her? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me let me describe it for you. It's a movie about a guy, and he falls in love with his operating system. Basically, he fell in love with his phone, like he fell in love with Siri, and. <laughs> It's, it stars Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Scarlett Johansson's voice. Because for some reason, people decided to make a movie and were like, well, you know what people like? Scarlett Johansson. You know what people hate? Scarlett Johansson's body. <laughs> <laughs> Was that me? <laughs> Rookie mistake. Uh, did you guys hear the punchline? Yes. <laughs> You know what people hate? Scarlett Johansson's body. Thank you. Um, I'm going to stop touching this because that's going to be bad. Anyways, I, I, thanks. All right. Um, so anyways, back to the joke I was telling about this movie called Her. This guy falls in love with his operating system, and as I was watching the movie, I was just thinking to myself, like, I could never do that. Like, I, because the, I know, like, the weeks after the breakup would be really awkward. Like, I just can't, like, imagine getting out my phone and being like, hey, Siri, can I have the address to 1500 Lincoln Avenue? Oh, is that where your whore lives? <laughs> no, Siri, Siri, no, I'm going to visit my grandparents. I thought we were over this. Can you just please? Put it in the phone, okay? Thank you. Oh, really funny. 1500, go fuck yourself, street. Oh, that's that's rich. That's rich. Guess who's got getting charged tonight? You. Um, yeah, another reason I couldn't date like my operating because if you date your operating system, that means you basically date your computer and they know when you're jerking off. <laughs> and like that's like way too much. I couldn't handle that. Like I I I had enough like worrying about people catch me jerking off growing up, like with my mom. I jerked off, I started jerking off with, when I was 12, and I made it about a week before my mom caught me. She didn't like catch me in the act. It was like, she saw and left it in the Google search bar. It said like, boobs, naked butts, ass titties. And... Anyways, my mom's super Catholic, and she saw it and she was like, Peter, you're gonna have to go to confession and confess because this is wrong, it's a sin. And I was like, okay. And I went to confession. And looking back, this was a terrible parenting move on her part. She basically told me I had to go to a, a Catholic priest and tell him, I'm a horny little boy. <laughs> What do I have to do for Jesus to forgive me? Get on your knees. Thank you all very much. Peter Coffee. It's good to be back. <laughs>